Hi, I'm Tamara the Scope with your solar storm forecast for the week of September 22nd. Welcome to the Equinox. I'll begin this forecast by talking about a bright young set of scientists and engineers from MIT who are trying to destigmatize drones or unmanned aerial vehicles using something called SkyCall. Now, this is a novel use of GPS technology in which the GPS on your own smartphone is used as a homing device or a targeting sensor that allows a drone to come pinpoint your location and find you and then offer assistance, as in the case of this directionally challenged freshman here who is having a hard time navigating the campus of MIT. Now here's what gives me pause. It's difficult enough, even in clear weather, to ensure the accuracy of GPS measurements made from your smartphone that the drones then use to pinpoint your exact location and maintain a safe distance. Now let's throw in, let's say, even the simplest of space weather, the rising and the setting of the sun in which sunlight changes and temperature changes. Now these things can cause errors of at least 10 feet in GPS measurements and up to easily 10 meters. Now I don't know about you, but I don't want to be interacting with some kind of drone that then suddenly, because the sun's going down, suddenly thinks I'm 30 feet over there. So it kind of makes you think twice about some of the emerging technologies that are coming out of the mobile revolution and if some of the brightest minds in our young generations are completely unaware of how even the simplest of space weather can affect the performance of their technologies, what does that say for our future? And now for my latest forecast. So after nearly a two-week hiatus, the sun is finally waking up with a lot of flare activity on the east limb and one, two, three solar mass ejections, two of which are bringing us solar storms later in this week, partially Earth directed. Now we did have some coronal hole activity last week. You can see some disturbed field here, which did rattle our shield a little bit. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough for Stian Rechtal in Iceland to have this beautiful picture taken of the aurora. Switching to flare activity, we have seen a couple C-class flares here, but everything's staying under the M-flare threat level, which means there's not a lot of disruptions in your cell phone or your Wi-Fi or your GPS. Now here's that, that C-class flare from 1846 that started it off. It's a beautiful flare as you can see and this region is still unstable. Uh, NOAA gives us about a, anywhere from a 15 to 30 percent chance of flares. Now here's that solar ejection. You see it circled there. Now the models predict that it's going to be mostly east of us. We'll get a grazing impact. You can see here it's actually going to be the footprint is south and east of us. And as we switch to Enlo you can see the structure moving off to the east of Earth. It should hit us. The impact should be sometime on the 22nd late in the evening. Uh, but we're not expecting a huge hit. It's going to be a small impact. Nonetheless, we should see some aurora. Now, outside that solar storm, what else do we have in store this week? Well, these are synoptic charts that show the entire region of the sun and all the active regions. And you can see on the far side, behind the east limb, there are all these active regions that are moving into the Earth region of view, which is bracketed by the east and west limb lines. So we expect that more activity is on the horizon for us. Now, outside the rise of flare activity and the solar storm watch that we've got going, there is this coronal hole that's now rotated into view. Now, prediction models indicate that we should be uh, getting some fast wind from this coronal hole around the 25th, so expect activity to also increase then. And if you look right there, you see that that is a coronal mass ejection. You see going, going, gone. It's partially Earth directed and we think it might be hitting us around the 24th but it doesn't have uh, a big impact it's supposed to be grazing so your space weather for this upcoming week looks to be pretty exciting we've got two solar storms on the way plus fast wind from a coronal hole later this week so expect that your GPS and your cell phone and your Wi-Fi might be a bit more disrupted than let's say the last couple weeks when the Sun was completely asleep now look forward to it I'm Tamara the Scope thank you for watching